Hello, hello, I'm Brutton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into med school and other professional programs. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most, if not the most high yield equation you should know for the MCAT and how to use it. You know, you can see it already. It's the Henderson-Hasselbach equation. This equation is used to calculate the pH of a buffer solution. A buffer solution is a solution that resists change in pH when small amounts of acid or base are added to it. Buffers are incredibly important in biological systems because they help maintain a stable pH, which is necessary for many different biological processes to occur, notably for enzymes to function. The Henderson-Hasselbalch equation is written as pH equals pKa plus the log of the concentration of base over acid, where pH is the pH of the solution, and pKa is the acid disassociation constant of the weak acid in the buffer. And the concentration of base is how much base you have, and the concentration of acid is how much acid you have, usually in molarity, but moles will work as well. Either one can be used interchangeably as long as you're using the same on top and same on bottom. But what does all of this mean? Well, the pKa is a measure of the strength of a weak acid. The lower the pKa, the stronger the acid. The ratio of base to acid in the equation tells us how much of the weak acid has been deprotonated or turned into its conjugate base. And that's some verbiage you want to become very familiar with. Deprotonated means we're missing a proton. Protonated means we have a proton. So the acid form could also be written as HA, and the base could be written as A minus. This is another common notation you're likely to run across either while studying for the MCAT or, or while actually taking the MCAT. Let's practice this a little bit. Let's say you have a buffer solution containing 0.1 molar acetic acid and 0.1 molar sodium acetate. And you want to know the percent deprotonation of acetic acid at a pH of 4.8. The pKa of the acetic acid is also 4.8. Using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, try and calculate this on your own first. All right, now I'll walk you through it. So again, we want to write down what we're doing. pH equals pKa plus the log of base over acid concentration. So we have the pH as 4.8. We know the pKa is 4.8. And we know that the logs are the same. So I'm just going to say 1, even though I'll say 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So let's handle the log first. So we can rewrite this as the log of just 1, because 0.1 divided by 0 0.1 is 1. And we know that the log of 1 is just 0. So if 0 plus our 4.8 from the pKa, which I'll write up here as well, equals the 4.8 of the pH. So now we'll subtract on over. Let's do an example of this. Let's say we have a buffer solution of 0.1 molar acetic acid and 0.1 molar sodium acetate. And we want to figure out what is the pH here? Well, we know the pKa of acetic acid is 4.8. So let's try and solve this using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. Give this a second and try on your own first. First thing we'll do is rewrite our equation. pH equals pKa plus the log of base over acid. So our pH, we don't know, so we'll just leave that there. Our pKa, we have a number, yay, 4.8. And then we also have our concentrations of 0 0.1 and 0.1, sorry, 0.1 and 0.1. Let's focus just on the logarithm right now. So the log of 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.1 is the same as the log of 1 because 0.1 divided by 0.1 is 1, and the log of 1 is equal to 0. If this is news to you, this is something you will want to write down. Make sure you know, because this is on the MCAT all the time. You should be very comfortable with doing log math for the MCAT. So now we have our pH equals our pKa of 4.8 plus 0. Well, that's the easiest math you're going to do all day. Our pH is equal to 4.8. So what's this telling us? This is saying that we have a buffer in perfect equilibrium where it is perfectly buffering at a pH of 4.8. So if we were to add a little bit of acid, it's going to go down a little bit. If we add a little bit of base, it's going to go up a little bit. 
Since the pH is equal to the pKa, the concentrations of the weak acid and the conjugate base are equal, and the percent deprotonation is at exactly 50%. At a pH higher than the pKa, there will be more of the conjugate base and less of the weak acid, leading to a higher percent deprotonation. At a pH lower than the pKa, there will be more of the weak acid and less of the conjugate base, leading to a lower percent deprotonation. The key takeaway here is that when the pH is lower than the pKa, we will have more protonation, and when the pH is higher than the pKa, we will have less protonation. Understanding the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation is really important for the MCAT, especially for the biochemistry section. Make sure you practice these concepts and understand and how to apply them to different problems. Thank you so much for watching our video on the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, and I will see you next time.